I have a pizza in the oven. And I'm thinking about making a margarita. I really need to invest in some eyewear. I have glasses. I low-key have two pairs of glasses. I just don't know. I like the DiGiorno pizzas. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for all of your help this week. And the way my community pulled through for me, like the way my community really like represented for a bitch and like really pulled through for a bitch. Um, I love y'all for real, because let me tell y'all something. So you will remember when I was like all like nervous and scared and everything. And I've been nervous and scared about like a lot. And I thought I was gonna have to like drop my Amazon wish list, but I didn't wanna like redox myself, right? Well, well, um, I'm not gonna have to share my Amazon wish list. I got it. Um, I'm not gonna have to share my Amazon wish list. I got it. Cause y'all came through for me. I, I'm straight. Like I was shocked and I was very pleasantly surprised and when I woke up on Thursday morning, I was like, y'all came through, okay? Y'all came through. So high key, the free spirits, just like, right, I know, Alex, like, I'm like, I, y'all just helped me get furniture. Y'all just helped me get furniture. I want y'all to understand. Because even though, like, okay, if I'm paying 90% of everything, I never had much for furniture and I could never plan to get actual furniture for the house because if you can't have the small conversations, you can't have the big ones. Um, and the nigga left me in an empty, vacant, traumatic way. I know that me furnishing this place is probably the last thing he expected, but thanks to the free spirits, I will be able to have some fucking furniture and I will be able to be comfortable for as long as I'm here. I know that me furnishing this place is probably the last thing he expected, but thanks to the free spirits, I will be able to have some fucking furniture and I will be able to be comfortable for as long as I'm here. So we go from trauma house to free spirits house and I'm fucking geeked, okay? Geeked, all right? And I'm only gonna do this like on my members' lives, you know, and I'm not even gonna say anything publicly because you know, y'all know. And I'm only gonna do this like on my members' lives, you know, and I'm not even gonna say anything publicly because you know, y'all know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all what I do with the place. I already uh, did my bathroom. I've also taken some steps to ensure my safety. That's also thanks to y'all. I don't, I don't deserve to live in trauma. And I said that in my last stream, I don't deserve to live in the trauma he left me in. I don't. I don't. And I saged my house and I spoke words of protection and abundance over my house. I spoke my peace over my house. I reclaimed my goddamn house. This was always my goddamn house. This was always my house. Always. I just tried to build this place with him, but can't build shit folks sometimes. Right? This was always my goddamn place. Yeah, I don't deserve to live in the trauma he left me in. I really don't. Not at all. A beautiful home for our beautiful crank, uh, for our beautiful queen. <laughs> Where'd you get the nails? I'm living for them. They were a Christmas present. And I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I got like a whole ass set. Like I got sets for days. Every now and then I peek in on DC and I'm like, all right. <laughs> If you say so, so. <laughs> Girl, why, why is she reacting to everybody that hates her? <laughs> and what is the tea with her and Irene Alex? I don't fuck with 
Ira Alex, because Ira Alex likes to argue. He gets off on that shit. And I caught that long ago. And I said, miss me with your bullshit, sir. I'm not into just random arguments on the internet. And Alex, though, I'm telling the truth. Alex, you know, because I showed you the DMs and all the tea. And, and guess what? Ira Alex used to have a crush on your girl. <laughs> Mary got a whole wife talking about me. Nigga. These niggas is crazy. Do not date internet niggas. Don't. Don't talk to them. Don't date them. It's a facade. It's probably a lie. They probably worse than Amber and Chantal mixed in one. Just don't. Just, just don't. If you come from the internet, it's it's probably a bad look. So. <laughs> I heard I rate Alex tore her to shred. Girl, all he did was sit there and call her all kinds of C words and call her all out her name. And I said, and she's sitting there and reacting. And then she's like, well, you know what, Alex, after all this, I just, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. And I'm just like, but why are you entertaining it? She's sitting there and watching everybody who don't like her. Like, what you doing? Like, what you doing? And why are you doing it? Girl, <laughs> DC <laughs> has left the planet. DC, she is in a different realm. I don't know where she at, girl. I don't know what she doing. Wasn't I right to separate myself back in December? Don't you love how I separated myself back in December and then these motherfuckers implode all 2022? <laughs> That's not a coincidence at all. That's, uh -huh. oh, that's, that's not sus at all. That doesn't speak volumes for itself. The oh, there's only one queen of receipts. <laughs> it's definitely not DC. Is she trying to be a queen of receipts? Is that what she's trying to do? Well, first of all, you gotta have some comments. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> They're all a mess. All of them are a mess from the antis to the actual hanger. Did y'all see Gaining Ground is over there with, uh, who he over there with now? He's a, he's with Yaba, isn't he? He over there with Yaba and Frenchie right now, isn't he? They, are they taking Gaining Ground back? I said, I said, girl, I said nah. <laughs> I'm so happy I can say far, far away. But I will say something. I mean, maybe the videos are probably about to be made or, and maybe I'm speaking too soon. But other than just the average talking shit on Twitter and all this bullshit. But from what I've seen, overall, other than Yaba, because I'm aware of her talking shit. But that's what Yaba's going to do. That's like literally all she does. People have been pretty respectful of my breakup overall. And like, I don't want y'all to think that Yaba did something because I saw my little sub count go down. I was only at like uh, 31, 420 something. Like, and I was like dangling between that and the teens anyway. And then Yaba made her video. I'm literally at 31, 380 something. Like, come on. Chow, she ain't doing nothing over here. But people don't know, girl. Shane liking Yaba's stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. We come full circle. Tell me more. He liked Yaba's stuff. The pizza ain't burnt. Look at this pizza, y'all. That looks perfect, actually. That looks great. All right. He was liking people stuff saying, making him seem like the victim. People are in the comments comparing your breakup to Amber and Becky's made me giggle like, oh, seriously, so not the same. He's been, he been doing shady shit. Alex, you already know. Let's talk after the stream. <laughs> That's so petty and low down. 
It's understood he has a hard time taking accountability for his actions, correct? <laughs> um, I spoke to him yesterday. Um, and he was trying to argue me down and it's still the whole back and forth. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying and doing. <laughs> there were numerous things said. I just think it's funny how he tried to jump ship under the claims of not wanting to hurt you anymore, but is lurking on socials, literally checking for you. I don't know if he's checking for me. I don't know if he's doing that. And so, okay, yesterday, you know, we were on the phone briefly. The conversation went kind of okay, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he was trying to argue me down. I hope you know the stream you did. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I'm sitting... Eh, eh, mind you, mind you, let's please remember, I'm his ex. I hope you know the stream you did. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I I'm your ex. So I'm going to do what's best for me. I don't think of you anymore. I can't. I tried. <laughs> I, 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 he's like, I see you did the stream. <laughs> he's like, I see you did the stream. <laughs> and, and all this stuff, and he was pressed. And I'm just like, you know, but it doesn't change the facts. And I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And I literally told him, I'm like, there's numerous sources that state that you indeed put my safety at risk due to your actions. So when you do that, and I only know one person in the whole place, I'm going to do what's best for me, which is say, hey. Okay, I'm going to let folks know what the hell I'm going through and what I'm doing. Because if something happens to me, like I said last night, the whole world going to know about it, right? He's like, I hope you, you I see you clearly didn't win. <laughs> I, I don't even know if this is like how he like was, like, you know? But whenever like somebody comes at me, I just envision them as... <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I mean, he might as well have been like, yeah, I abandoned the apartment and I abandoned it with my chest. <laughs> and I'm sorry, if you can watch a stream where I'm displaying my pain and I'm talking about my safety and I have my friends who are supporting me, validating me and letting me know that what was said and like letting you all know that what was said is not only true, but highly real, okay? Um, if you can watch something like that and still make it about yourself, that says a lot about you. But accountability can often feel like an attack when you're not ready to acknowledge how you've hurt someone. I'm not going to apologize for the stream, and I didn't. I didn't apologize to him for that stream. I, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for, like, advocating for my own safety. I mean, who was going to do it? Him? He was, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... But let's get to like the t part, okay? He's like, oh, I hope you meant to remind people that I did indeed say that I was going to help you. Did you forget how you ghosted me on Sunday? He's like, oh, I hope you meant to remind people that I did indeed say that I was going to help you. I'm like, you literally ghosted me on Sunday. And I didn't hear from you until Tuesday, and it was about something unrelated. Like, I literally said... I wasn't feeling well, I wasn't doing well. In fact, I had to, you know what I'm saying? Look, you know, for help elsewhere. As well. And then he's like, well, I'm here to help you and da, da 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 And you aren't considering me and you just need to let me know what you need, when and where and da da, -da. And then he's like, well, I'm here to help you and da 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 And you aren't considering me and you just need to let me know what you need, when and where and da da, -da. I've never had an ex like this. Like, he's playing the ping pong game, dude. Um... 2K will pay for the emotional damages. I know, right? I'm not understanding that. I'm not understanding that. I'm just not. I'm. You know what? And you know what? There's no understanding it. And there's no way for me to try and understand it. He's upset that you aren't crawling on your knees to win him back. 
You know what? And that's another thing too. So um, he did say, so when I told him that like you literally ghosted me and I was just like, okay, whatever. I left it at that. He was like, well, how come you didn't do anything else to like get my attention? And I'm like, I'm not crazy ex-girlfriend. I'm not crazy ex-girlfriend. And okay, so listen to these words and tell me what you think. I told him, I said, I'm not crazy ex-girlfriend and I don't blow people up. I don't. I fall all the way back. Like what? I said, I'm not crazy ex-girlfriend. I'm not going to blow your phone up. I don't blow anybody up. I just don't do that stuff. Like that's never been me. Like as much as something hurts, I am genuinely like, even though I don't want to, I will still hurt and suffer alone before I chase after someone. Okay. But he was like, oh, no, you're not crazy ex-girlfriend. You're so much more than that. How am I more than that? And I'm your ex. Do you see? Like, and, and, and it's almost, and this is, this was a big communication problem. Because see, my, my communication with him or lack thereof, it feels so fucking gaslighty. Like, I feel like I'm being gaslit to death. And he's over here y liking Yaba's tweets, so he's gaslighting me at this point. Like, I didn't even know he was over there liking Yaba's stuff. And he knows the shit about Yaba. If it makes him feel better to be over there with all that actual toxicity and stuff, then that's fine. He can have it. He can enjoy it. He can live in it. And he can um, rejoice in it. <laughs> wow, he told me. He was like, I can't respond to that. There's nothing I can say because it makes everything look like it's my fault. And I'm like, you contributed. Your actions contributed to a lot. Like, what? Yeah, it just feels so gaslighty. Like, nothing makes sense. And I hope you guys know, I'm not going to hit him up. I'm not going to hit him up. You want to know what my therapist said? My therapist wants me to block him. <laughs> um, My therapist wants me to block him and, and all... All things and all everything related to him. Um, and I told her I'd think about it because, I mean, he is the only person I know in this state. But, oh, we know damn well you ain't hitting him up. You're not Chantal or Amber. I agree. Block him, okay? When someone shows you who they are, believe him the first time. He's, sh he's shown me who he is. How He's shown me who he is throughout this entire thing. He literally fell back, okay? And he never valued and respected this house anyway. You know, he never really wanted to plan with me to, to decorate this place, you know? OMG, could you imagine if you started acting like Chantal? I'd have to hop on a plane and come slap your ass. You know, I've been trying to get more male perspectives too, because like, you know, a lot of my guy friends, well, to be honest, a lot of my guy friends are just like pissed. A lot of my guy friends are like, you don't deserve this bullshit, da -da 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 -da, all this. A lot of guys are telling me that he's acting the way he's acting and he was weird on the phone yesterday <clears throat> is because he it's hard for him to say what he really means which is he fucked up um and he's sorry and he doesn't know how to walk it back because um when he told me that he was embarrassed he said that he's embarrassed by the stream he said that he's embarrassed by the stream and there's nothing that he can say or do about it but <clears throat> it wasn't even about embarrassing him. It was literally just about putting my truth out there so I could be safe. He has a hard time apologizing. He's a, he's a type. How dare he be embarrassed? He is the cause and he shouldn't. Yeah, but see, when he left, he told me on the phone, like last week, he didn't want to feel the guilt. That's why he packed up and left the way he did because he didn't want to feel the guilt. And I guess now he's feeling it and doesn't want to. But I don't control your feelings. If you don't want to feel the guilt, then don't. I don't control your feelings. You control your feelings. But the fact that he's like liking Yaba's stuff and telling me one thing on the phone, he's gaslighting his shit. Like, okay. Yeah, and I think that he's just resorting to that because that's, that's all he has. I mean, he can't even speak up for himself. I mean, he can. I'm not going to stop him. I feel like he's still trying to play the I'm going to hurt your feelings game, right? But if it makes him feel good as a grown man to victimize himself, then be my guest. Good and grown man. Victim. Okay. Be my guest.
Be our guest, be our guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about it is he can like all the comments or whatever he wants, but like he also like has not agreed with Yaba, but he can go over there and be with them. The thing is, those people are literal sharks and will eat him alive the first chance they get too. So he can go do that. But like he doesn't make content, so why does it matter to him? And like how the fuck are you gonna victimize yourself for an actual victim? Like you are the man, sir, and that's not on some trans public shit. And that's not on some transphobic shit. But he's literally the man. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't... I don't know. Men don't leave their women defending for themselves with some fuck shit and then gaslight them to hell and back. I'm so happy that I, um... Because after yesterday, I'm just like, I'm not going to hit him up anymore. There's no need to. Like, if he wants to immerse himself in toxicity, he can. I hope it makes him feel better. Genuinely, I hope it does. You know, I don't really give a fuck what people say on Twitter because Twitter does not control the YouTube algorithm. You can tweet some fuck shit about me and get a few hundred likes, but I bet you my fucking video, my stream, whatever it is going to do is going to get 10K views. At least. And almost a thousand likes. So, you can tweet, but you don't control my algorithm. <laughs> so, what I think is probably happening is, like, some internal conflict. Like, <laughs> like the conflict and the guilt are fighting. <laughs> He's a special snowflake. All right. I mean, if it's this hard for you to admit your wrongs, then, like, I don't need you in my life. And that's the thing. I don't want someone who doesn't want me. If you can walk away from me and you can, like, leave me in a dangerous situation by myself in a state where I don't know anybody else, you are inherently selfish. I don't give a fuck how much you told me you'd be there if you're not. Now that, especially now that I know that he's, like, over there liking Yaba stuff, that just puts me in more danger. Because, see, now we have someone who's playing, trying to play both sides. I don't need that when I have all these real life repercussions in the background. I don't need that. I don't want Yaba in my shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. Like now you being messy. Now you being like, now you like an op. Like you, you're my opposition. Like that, that's like my enemy. And I, I don't believe in having enemies, but you know, I can cut people off and just keep it pushing, but You're like my enemy now. You're trying to be my enemy. Because we all have heard what Yaba has said. Right? And I remember the things he said to me when he saw Yaba. He didn't appreciate it. But a part of him always still liked her because she provided him comfort during the pandemic. I did a stream asking for help and I got actual help from my community. And I got what I needed, which is furniture. I refuse to live in this trauma he left me in. I believe in being honest, no matter how dark, how ugly, how whatever it is, is the truth. Just be honest. Just live in your truth. It's not that hard. Ma'am, is this a pink pizza cutter? Yes! <laughs> Everything is pink. And look. <laughs> the pizza pan is pink. Pinker. Uh, is there other shit that I need to be knowing? Or is it just the Yaba stuff? Alex, you've been looking out. Is there is there anything else I need to be concerned about? Is there anything else I need? Because now I'm kind of concerned. I'm like, who are you over there? He, now, now you're probably about to go join the Discord. Honestly, at this point, y'all probably need to keep your eyes for some racist tweets. <laughs> y'all probably need to keep your eyes for some racist tweets. <laughs> Y'all probably need to keep your eyes for some racist tweets. <laughs> I mean, he about to go hop in the Discord. <laughs> and get the tweeting all the bullshit. <laughs>
Tiny, y'all know Tiny Dancer is all over there all on his, on his shit. And I'm like, they can actually have each other because she's really needy and highly attention seeking. And he's, it works. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Because at this point, if you move in like my enemy, now nah, I don't put anything past you. He's going to come around and say, in her head is nappy as shit. And I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> He's gonna come around and say, in her hair is nappy as shit. And I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> I was like, sir, please. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that, but it's sad. I don't put it past him. I mean, if that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. That's who you are, that's who you are. and the wobbly wobbly. <laughs> I don't do all that. I mean, child, we gotta keep our eye out on everybody. It's a shame. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, child. Mm-mm. <laughs> Or maybe they, they work limited hours. <laughs> Give Kelly money per. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your baby daddy child, cause well, he out there. The, the shade y'all see right now, the, the one on Twitter liking shady shit, I have seen that Shane more than I ever saw the good Shane. Like I've seen for longer, you know? Would you guys have ever thought that he was the way he like is if I hadn't said anything? Didn't have to do that. What happened to his channel? Did he delete it? He pulled back when um, the the stuff that I can't talk about happened. That's very real. Like, and it's so obvious. And I even told him on the phone yesterday. I was like, dude, um, I'm like, bro, people can tell. Like, it's not like I outed you or some bullshit. Like, people been like people been new, you know. I wish. Sometimes I wish. Like, I sometimes I wish I could have like a fake persona that I could go into um for content like it would probably make running my channel a lot easier and better but i just i don't i'm starting to think he was lying about being a fan of mine for all these years and i can say this now like when him and i were having issues i wouldn't wear the ring when we would have issues especially like issues issues i wouldn't wear it because why because I, I don't feel like a wife and i would do it to show i don't need him right like Guy over there with y'all, but girl, about to go hop in the server, girl. About to go hop in the server. All right, be on the lookout for some racist tweets. <laughs> Jose is going through it again, dude. He seems to be in a better place than what he was, but he just had to deal with like another crazy situation with people that he lived with. Like apparently they turned homophobic and like they were going to get some people to like jump him and shit you guys have been so generous enough to me that literally just right now i was able to give a little bit to jose and that made me feel really good because remember like a few months ago i wasn't able to even help jose i thought i was going to help him by you know boosting his social media and sending him support for my channel and then you know shit turned so ugly and i i just gave him something um if i ever see anybody struggling or needing help um i will never publicize it ever again i will just take it straight to my members the world is just so dark and i donated to his gofundme but i had a stream of consciousness earlier that really fucked with me all day like i'm just trying to speak my piece and so when i was on the phone with her earlier i had the stream of consciousness and the reason why i recorded it is because i'm definitely going to play it for my therapist later I'm gonna play like 
my side of this conversation and I want you all to like give me your thoughts and like let me know like what you think and I truly feel like I believe like what I'm about to play to like be true I'm not gonna lie can, can you guys hear slightly and like the feelings are trying to happen today and I'm fighting it fighting it hard <laughs> It's just because I woke up, you know, Can chilling, you guys hear? doing my thing. But it's like, it's like, you know, whenever Shane does stuff, it takes a while for it to like set in, like setting in that wow, he was really over there with Yava. And the thing is, I didn't even know. Like, I regret, like, I regret, like, even having, like, if I would have known he was over there with Yava the entire time, I would have never entertained his. Shane is over there with Yava. And, and not over with Yaba like dating. Let me clarify that. Oh my god, because I know how that sounds. Or like talking to her or something. No, 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 no. Like, like, like you know, engaging in the shit that she was saying about me. Like engaging in that. I'm thinking in the back of my head how fucked up that is. Like, if you can go over there with my haters, you were never for me in the first place. That's where like my tweet and like my community tab post came from. Because I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about how fucked up that is. Especially because I've heard, you know, opposing views before. And now it's just like, oh, so now what she's saying is okay. And I most certainly, I'm sorry, but if you're fucking around with Yaba, like, it's one thing to just, like, support her as a reactor because you like her or whatever. But, like, if you're, like, supporting her coming after me right now, like, I'm straight. I'm not trying to fight with her, but I also don't want her all in my business. And now I don't know what's being said. I don't trust anything that's like, it's, it's, I don't know, it fucked my head up. So it, it really fucked my head up. I was like, but I did not go and kiki with a bunch of people who were shitting like actively because I've seen some of the things Yaba has said and we all know that she could be venomous at times. And then I'm sitting here thinking to myself about his actions and just like everything and how it's all played out. And it's like, it's just a dead ass reminder. Like, this is not someone who loves me. Like, this is someone who he might actually hate me or like be jealous of me or I don't know what it is. But I don't think he has good intentions for me at all. Like something in him wants to see me suffer. Um, and it's really sad. Like, I, I just think back about how he never like talked to my dad about asking my hand in marriage as if I don't deserve that. You know, he kept blaming his social anxiety. And I just keep thinking about like, even something as petty as like the fucking Holiday Lights show, never took me to go see that. Like I don't fucking deserve that. And it's just, and this is the same person that's mad because I went to my community for help and you guys were immediately there for me. Like he never was. I guess I just hate finding out this stuff like late when I do because I'm like so um, entrenched in like my own things. I'm mad. Like I'm, I'm like, oh, uh, I'm like once again, I'm a little upset at myself for entertaining that conversation. I could have just left it at the bill and just not said anything. You know what I'm saying? Like how I would want other stuff. It's like he would just put it off. Like he would just blame something else or like make an excuse and like, like literally as if I didn't deserve that much. I've confronted him before about asking my dad's permission and he would just get super defensive and like this is how he is like there were a lot of things happening I just ignored it like I could have handled that better um mm -hmm. okay, I'm like a victim. and I'm just so like much. having like the residual feelings because I feel like I'm wearing clown paint because in my live where I react to Chantal, I was like, oh, I still respect him. And yeah, he, I mean, I'm happy I mentioned that like, oh yeah, he offered quote unquote help, but it doesn't change the fucking facts. And so it's like, imagine you have to go over to a person like Yaba to have your self victimization validated. You have to go to Yaba for validation? Yaba. But I'm mad I said I still respected him publicly. Like, I am. I am. Like, when I did my Chantal reaction thing, I said I still respected him publicly. And, like, I feel like I should have never said that. Like, I should have never said that. He's a gaslighter. He's a really bad guy. He's a, not, not like bad guy. Like, well, whatever. You're gaslighting, you're a horrible person. But, like, he's a horrible, horrible person. He's a fucking gaslighter and he's a manipulator. And he's kind of like a liar, too. Is he doing more than interacting with Yaba? 
Cause when I, cause see, and this is what I mean, my gaslighter. Cause see, when I talked to him a couple days ago, he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna respond to this. I'm not gonna say or do anything to you." Cause I would never do that. Is there like more shit other than him interacting with Galva or no? Cause yesterday you guys told me he's been quiet. So unless shit's changed, he isn't tweeting about it. Just liking. Oh, he's liking shit. Okay. All right, so that means we're on the same point. Mm, he commented back to some people a few days ago about people being there for him. Very self-pity. Like, he's really toxic. Like, imagine, like, you make all these promises that you can't keep, and then you get mad when I distance myself and I do what's best for me. Like, I was never able to trust in you in the first place. And it's hurtful because it's like, I know I deserve more than that, but he acts like I don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Like he acts like I should just take what he gives. And that's really painful. Um, I don't deserve that. I'm like sitting here doing my makeup to ch cheer myself up. And I think that um, once I'm done with my makeup, I'm gonna like chill and go live on my channel. Cause I did talk to Destiny today, just like on some like tea full shit. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is like film and then just try to see where the rest of the day takes me. I, yesterday I had such a great fucking day, mm -hmm. and then today it's like in the back of my mind, like the shame shit, and it's like, I'll be so happy when this stops. Because I don't, like he does not even deserve to live rent free in my head, even if I am still processing. Like, it's so unfair to me. So much of this is so fucking unfair to me, and I deserve so much more. And like, Focusing on putting my house together and everything has cheered me up, but it doesn't like because even that has hints of sadness Okay, why am I buying all this furniture? Why am I buying because the nigga up and left and wanted me to live in fucking trauma Like that was his intentions for me You know what I'm saying like that's so fucking spiteful like that's evil like, he's horrible. He's a terrible person. And I know nothing good will come to him, and I know, like, he's just going to continue to be miserable, but, like, the fact to take all that negative energy out on me is just... And then I think about it, like, I mean, I, you know, it's hard to even know what to compare it to, because, yeah, I've, I've been cheated on, and I've had some shit in my relationships, but nothing to this magnitude like this was this was really huge like this was really bad and i think what i'm gonna do is next month i'm just gonna pay the bill and the oh, on my own the literal only two bills he's responsible for rent and me, it was me all me has always been me also like i got so tired of like the rumors about him coming for money he doesn't but i actually think that my family because i have educated family too and i have you know family members with really great jobs and careers too um i think my family might be better off than his family and hey i don't care about that type of stuff but when you make a commitment to someone those type of things factor in but i kind of hate how like in all the hate campaigns people were trying to act like oh he comes from money he comes from privilege no, does it show that like nothing has really changed other than his presence being gone? But like literally 90% me. That's why I say I was pulling 90% of the load. Nothing has really changed other than his presence being gone? But like literally 90% me. That's why I say I was pulling 90% of the load. I mean, if we're gonna argue over the trash, we're gonna argue over like actual life shit and responsibilities. So literally, like he he was only responsible for like two bills. His online presence was fake. That's what I've been saying about personas and facades. I know I, we be talking about Amber and stuff, but that's what I mean by personas and facades. And I'm like I'm not even gonna hit him up. And if he asks me about it, I'm just gonna reply. I paid him. Period. Like done. I'll I'll take care of it. Like I don't need you to do anything for me. You are horrible. And you know he's only offering to try to pay these bills to like keep some type of ties to me. Mm -mm. He doesn't deserve. Because I thought about that too. Why would you? Yeah, I mean, they they were your financial responsibility when we arranged it, but technically those bills are still in my name because I'm the one that set everything up. I'm the one that did this, but those bills are in my name. 
you know, you moved all the way the fuck out. You left. So what would the point be? Because I'm doing no contact. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, what I told you guys. I, I haven't spoken to him since he called me um, a couple days ago. Like, I need to really protect myself because I'm, and I'm out. Like, this is so fucked up. Like, think about how fucked up this is. I'm out here by myself, and I'm dealing with a person who's that fucked up. That's, like, so dangerous. Like, I mean, who, like at this point, I don't know who's worse. Him or, and I'm saying that kind of jokingly, but, like, kind of serious, too. It's like, this is really, like, as it sets in, it's pretty dark. Like, this is a person who has no good intentions for me whatsoever. But he's never really even shown that he had good intentions for me. The, the biggest thing he ever did for me was, like, buy the ring. That's it. You know? Like, huh, take this, you know? I don't even think that that was a romantic gesture anymore. I think it was just to trap me. I cannot afford to cry today. I don't want to cry today. I can't afford it. I'm going to keep just trying to push through and do my makeup. And then I'm going to do like a chill stream and hang out. Because I know going live like cheers me up. And I have so much opportunity to just like sit, chill, and make content and transfer my house into like a content house and just like chill and relax. But everything has like such a dark connotation to it. And I, and I really hate that. Like, I Never mind. I just started crying. Never mind. I just started crying. And that's where it ends, because I just cried. I had cried when I talked about that. You know, when I used to live at home, and especially as I was coming up, I wanted to be more of a provider. But, um, you know, you know, I was told not to worry about certain stuff. But, like, I can say this. Like, this is what pissed me off about the money thing. Because he doesn't make any. Like, he literally has, like, a fucking, like, he's a dishwasher. Like, he's a dishwasher. And, and a delivery person. He's a dishwasher. Like, he's a dishwasher. And, and a delivery person. That's it. So you can imagine what that money looks like. I didn't even know he was over there with Yaba. Like, that's a new level. And, like, he has totally talked shit about Yaba to me. Like, and he's totally been like, oh, I don't agree with this. So it's like, imagine you are resulting. And we all know how Yaba is. And if you like her and she's your favorite, that's fine. I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to get rid of you. I'm not going to do anything like that. But, like, we all know how Yaba is. And mainly she likes to bait people into fights. And I'm so straight, like I'm so good, you know? He's on Twitter talking about, oh, who's gonna be there for him? Who's gonna support him? My nigga, you built a lot of your name off of my community. I sent my fucking community to go and support you and you did this to me. I'm sorry, when you do me bogus, you don't deserve the support? Because not only did I fall for, you all remember when I cried about this in like my earlier member stream, earlier in the week, because not only did I fall for a facade, y'all fell for a facade. And I see people who are like, oh, she's over there putting all her business on the internet. What the fuck does she think she's doing? Like, don't fucking question me as life of a free spirit and then fucking get mad and have some shit to say when I do life of a free spirit type shit. I have always, like, I have always, and even when I talk about my life, I don't put... You know, like, I know what to keep, like, you know, low-key, and I know what to, you know what I'm saying, broadcast. But even when I'm venting, like, even right now, in this moment, I have not shat on his name. I'm just being honest. Honestly, I was kind of pissed. He didn't stand by you publicly when shit went down between you and Yaba. See, the, and so let me tell you all about that. Do you guys want to know the, the, the ins and outs about that? This is how spiteful he is. So when the shit initially went down with me and Yaba about the Jose stuff, he did. He literally tweeted out, I love you, life of a free spirit. And he was rocking with me. And he was liking my tweets and everything. Me and him got into an argument about the fucking trash. And then he flipped. And that's when he, he didn't say anything publicly and he pulled all the way back because he was mad at me personally. Me and her talked yesterday after my live stream and she's like, I low key think he enjoys seeing people drag you when he's mad at you. And I'm like, I think so too. I've always kind of gotten those vibes low key. And now it's like, it's, it's, it's apparent. It's in your face. While he like stood up for me during the whole Yaba thing at first, like I saw him pull back. 
mind you, I have not, mind you, when my chat was spamming coward, I told y'all to stop. So when he pulled back and he was not supporting me through the whole Yaba stuff, when I was talking about the Jose stuff, that was the time I stood on my own with my community in defense of Jose and myself. Because not only did I see Yaba's bullshit, I'm sorry, I will never forget how Charlie stayed silent when I was defending Jose. Charlie had the receipts. I gave Charlie my DMs about Jose. Charlie was thinking about coming on and doing a stream with me. Remember when Charlie was in the fucking, um, in the fucking, what was it? Twitter spaces. And then she told me, oh, I'll pipe up when you pipe up. But Charlie is afraid of Yaba. She does not want the smoke. Which is why when Yaba went off on Charlie in her stream, um, because remember when Charlie was in chat like a couple months ago and Yaba went off like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Charlie. Da -da 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 -da. Charlie didn't say anything because she's afraid of Yaba. And I clocked that months ago. So I will never forget when Yaba was shitting on a homeless man, because that's what who Yaba, that's who Jose was at the time, going through shit with his family and rallied up an entire community against him to shit on him and to trash him and ridicule him. Then I pick myself back up. My channel grows. I'm seeing such growth. I'm seeing such engagement and my community is so fucking strong. And then I come back stronger than ever before. And I'm coming back and I'm not fucking with nobody. So there's really nobody in my way. Like, and even as Yaba tries to bait me in these arguments, I will never entertain her. I, bitch, I surpassed Yaba in subs. Okay. Even after what happened with Jose. I came right back and surpassed her as a sub. So now if I address her, it's going to be like Yaba who? Now if I say something about her, people are going to go check in for her. Whereas if she goes off about me, it's just the same old people coming for me. Why would I acknowledge her now? It's another reason why I'm not going to mention Jose publicly. Then you tell me that the engagement was a mistake. That devastates me. I go to my friend's house to keep my channel running and to keep myself afloat. That wasn't enough because I was still doing well. And you moved out while I was gone. And you know, we were still following each other and shit. So he was probably still lurking on my social media and all this, right? So you see me with my friend. You see me just trying to push forward. That wasn't enough. Think of, like, th I know that I probably sound like some fucking tinfoil hat person. Why are you constantly trying to do things to hurt me? I come to you about trash, you're pissed. Oh, now um, I'm not going to say anything when Yaba's dragging you because I'm enjoying it. Do you see? And mind you, all of this has happened over the past few months. So whenever you confront him, mind you, he got mad over the trash during the Yaba stuff, right? I had put like a can or something in the in the trash can because I'm not really used to recycling because out here like you know recycling is heavy and in Chicago it's not you can just throw everything like in one uh, bag or can it doesn't really matter and so he called himself making like a playful note like recycling goes here like one of those signs that you would post at work for like the goofy employee you know how they be having them little signs at work like dishes go here this goes here and like, yeah, he put like a little heart on it, but I took that as very disrespectful. I'm like, my nigga, what? Like, you don't gotta talk to me like I'm dumb. And he knows that's like a, that's a fucking pet peeve um, to be spoken down to. Cause I, cause people speak down to me all the time. And yeah, you might've meant it playfully, but I was like, I'm not one of your little goofy co-workers. Like, there's no need for a note like that. And I did ask text him. Like, I'm not one of your little goofy co-workers. Um, there's no need to text me like that, right? And he got so pissed and so offended. And then he just fell back during the Yaba time. There's a part of him that wants to, like, deeply hurt me and destroy me. 
Like, especially the whole him over there with Yaba right now thing fucked my mind up. That fucked my head up. Because I'm like... It's definitely intentional, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if I should be more fearful of him. Because mind you, mind you, after he was over there kikiing with Yaba, he called me. Because he called me. He was upset about the stream. He was upset about the stream. And then on the phone, he's like, I'll, I'll still be there to help you. I'll still be here for you. Like, just tell me what you want and what you need and when you need it. And I'll be right there for you. I'll still be there to help you. I'll still be here for you. Like, just tell me what you want and what you need and when you need it. And I'll be right there for you. He told me that after he was over there kiki with Yaba. That's, you're gaslighting me. Also, why are you so hell-bent on helping now? Yeah, you claim that you were going to help me even when I fucking mentioned it on Sunday, but you fucking ghosted me. And I reminded him, I'm like, you fucking ghosted me. Please don't forget, you don't have good intentions for me. Like, I am genuinely like, if I see him ever again, he, I, he would probably try to do harm to me. Like, if I see him ever again, I, he would probably try to do harm to me. I don't know who to be more afraid of, him or the person that I'm dealing with behind the scenes that I can't speak about because of reasons, like, you know, but seriously, and I, and I mean that seriously. I mean that so seriously. You're literally liking people trashing me. You're liking like, and, and he's like, and I know if it's coming from Yaba, you know it's shit that's not true. Like, you know it's shit that's, like, not fucking true. Am I turning into Chantal? I don't trust how quiet he's been online. I feel like he's just DMing people and playing victim. Or possibly spreading your personal business. I think so, too. And I think the reason he's playing quiet online is because he's waiting for me to hit him up so he can act as my back while he's sticking me behind my back. I think he's spreading my shit too. I, and that's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised if he's fucking um, DMing Yaba. Cause that would just give her fuel for her fire. No, like he's doing underground snooping, damn. Yes, because, no, because he's a snake. Like he's shady like that. The irate Alex stuff on Twitter. So when irate Alex was attacking Jose, I went after him a couple times. I did. And then I rate Alex when I called him out for having a crush on me back in Discord and I dropped that receipt. Da -da -da. Um, but back when I dropped that shit, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, he fucking um, called me schizo because of my mom. And he did it publicly on Twitter. Y'all think that I'm the one that's fucked up? Y'all think that I'm the one? Date him. <laughs> Date him. Damn. I, cause sis, he's just a nigga with a car. Cause sis, he's just a nigga with a car. That's like really when you come down to it, like he's just a nigga with a car. So sis, um, I hope you know that like you sh you're gonna have to pay ninety percent of the bills. Um, you're probably gonna argue over trash being dumped. Um, you're probably going to get into it about fucking um little petty shit. Like you know what I'm saying. So please, be my guest, be my guest. Da, da, da. <laughs> Me and Shane always had problems, but we were just trying to work through them. Plus, like, low-key, Tiny Dancer fucking irritated me um, when we were on Twitter spaces because she fucking talked over me. Like, she would talk over me and stuff. Like, I had somebody in there talking to me about my fan art, like, wanting to make me fan art. And she's like, I don't get fan art. Who? I'm sorry. This is no offense. This is no offense. I'm not trying to sound bougie, but who are you? Like, yes, honey, you do OnlyFans, but it's not many people out there making fucking fan art for OnlyFans girls. What? So I warned Shane. 
I said, you know, there's a lot of people who hate me. You know, I've been doxxed. You know, I've had people try to, you know, harass me and come at me. Not to, to the length that, that things are now. In fact, this shit is actually fucking literally terrifying. I warned him. I said, you know, if you get with me, you're going to have a hate target on you. People are going to come after you and try to make fun of you. And I just hope you know power through that shit because what they want is your intention and the engagement. Now, if they say some fucked up shit, like some racist or transphobic or some fucked up shit, I'm going to pipe up because that's wrong, period. And a lot of these people, they get off on, like, racism and, like, really hateful stuff. Um, but just do know that, like, I would never, like, leave you hanging in that. This nigga, he told me, oh, I don't care. You're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth it. I guess I'm not worth it anymore. I don't deserve to be a, a, a protected woman. All right. Just because I'm so strong, right? Thanks to y'all's support, I was able to like invest in my safety, which is awesome. Um, I was able to invest in my safety. Um, and I was able to take care of a lot of things that I've been needing to take care of. Look at it. And I got horns. I'm going to post it on my IG soon. Also, if you guys are in, like, Yaba's Discord or anybody, be careful. Be fucking careful. Don't get doxxed and shit. This was, like, a really good live. And I feel like it's really good in case I need to drop receipts on hoes. Can you guys look at this? I was sent some edible arrangements, like literally delivered directly to me, like on some bougie shit. Um, some edible arrangements. I got some chocolate covered strawberries because you guys know chocolate covered strawberries are my absolute favorite. And um, somebody who um cool with um who i've been talking to um sent these to me i'm not gonna tell you guys the name or anything like that but this literally made my damn day um admirer pretty much yeah like even when um the night of the super bowl happened um this person stayed on the phone with me even while the game was on um until i fell asleep and like you know having trouble falling asleep i'm stressed okay but my current truth that sucks a little dick is that there was someone in my life who could give two fucks if this country goes to war, to war or the darkness of the world affects me because they didn't want to do I'm not important. And I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about being told, oh, I'm here to help. Da, da, da. You said that after you kikied over there with Yaba. I'm so straight. I'm so straight. And that sucks. Like, what I'm going through is enough. Literally enough. And our world, mind you, let's please remember our, our the fucking world's decision right now. Like, like, let's please remember what the world literally just decided. Yeah, dude, for sure. Let's like go to war because it's not like we're still fighting the pandemic or anything and all we have is this bullshit ass vaccine. We don't even have a fucking real ass cure. But for sure, dude, on top of literally everything, let's go to war because that's totally gonna help. You couldn't do anything better with your time, my dude? You couldn't do anything. You literally could not do any. You had. So like when I was on the phone last night, like my fucking reality set in because I'm a woman by myself. far from friends and family and shit dealing with what I'm dealing with and now oh shit really
and it's fucking terrifying. And I'm tired of feeling terrified. But I also don't deserve to feel so disregarded at the same time. So I try to release those emotions. So him sending me the chocolate covered strawberries, cause he knows that they're my favorite dessert too. And he knows I like edible arrangements too. And I haven't even had edible arrangements in so fucking long. I have a few people who have crushes on me. I have a few people who've already been trying to holler. I have a few people who just been waiting for you to be single and you hear from them every day. Like I told you about my other music friend. You're fucking hot one minute, you're fucking cold the next goddamn minute. You're fucking over here on crack and meth one minute and you're over here on fucking, I don't know, actual CBD the next minute. You know what I'm saying? I hate you so much. I mean, it's not too late to receive hate mail. I remember when fucking COVID set in and I had so many of y'all flood my chats back then in 2020 talking about how y'all got COVID, how y'all had family members pass from COVID, how you fucking was in the hospital all hooked up and it was my live stream keeping you through having COVID. I can't envision that stuff. I don't have the luxury to just pick up and just Because I don't deserve to live in literal emptiness. And I know that I deserve more than that. And I'm just really thankful that I worked up the courage. Like, I was so afraid in that stream last week. But I'm so thankful for it. I really needed help. I took some of what I did and I invested back into my channel. Because it's, it's literally the least that I can do. Y'all going to continue to get, like, quality content. Y'all will continue to get, you know quality from me. I'm not going to just fucking, I don't know, turn on a black screen and, and, and say, hey, go to react, P put the shit on the goddamn ceiling. I'm not going to do that. People were pissing me off, acting like you can afford to just pick up and move. Like, what the fuck? Also, a lot of speculation, which a certain creator ripped up um, when she whipped up her hate mob. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm not really bothered about Yaba whipping up her hate mob because we all we all knew, we literally all knew she was gonna do it. Like literally, like I talked to everybody before the stream even happened and we knew exactly, we, we fucking even pegged it down to she was gonna be the first one to talk shit. And, 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 it, and it happened. Um, to, and, and that was to be expected. I don't give a fuck who has to say anything about my situation because it's the fucking truth. It's the facts. I don't give a fuck. I just, I, cause I literally like, I, I, I literally said like, <laughs> what would better serve my time? Me arguing on Twitter with a bunch of fucking idiots, literal idiots, because they don't know what, the, like if they're gonna speak, mind you, a lot of them are the same people who kicked Jose while he was down. So of course they're gonna kick me while I'm down. So why would I argue with those idiots? Because no matter what I say, it's not gonna get through to them because they don't care, right? It's about shit on Cali. Oh, fuck yeah, let's shit on Cali. Like, right? That's literally a waste of my time while I have so much real life shit to deal with, right? I upheld my word because I'm a woman of my word. I said me bitching and all this bullshit on Twitter was going to be a waste of time. I'm not over there liking shady ass tweets. I'm not over there arguing back and forth. In fact, I was so far removed that when I found out a certain individual was over there kikiing with Yaba during the shit, I was shook. And now I'm protecting myself because I had no choice. That's how far removed. And even today, bitch, Twitter is deleted off my devices. I'm logged out. I fucking logged out cleared the fucking cache on my tabs even on my fucking laptop i'm good i don't need to see it because the real world is enough right now 
I saw people trying to stir up shit because I, I saw this one person tag me saying she's having a manic breakdown da, 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 da. and it's like bitch who are you first of all and I had never seen this bitch ever but yet she want to tag me in this post girl I mute her mute the conversation carry on my whole life not bothered right I saw that shit and I ignored it and it's like this is how you know these are the people mind you these people who are tagging me on Twitter talking all this shit they did not watch the stream or at least they didn't watch it in its entirety or they did not fucking listen because if you would have listened you would have known that you tagging me on Twitter saying all this bullshit would, was, was futile I wasn't going to entertain it anyway like if you would have just paid attention you would have known that all that shit that's why like it just looks like their little negative ass hug box even with said hate mob it did not do much damage to my channel and overall i have an overwhelming amount of support even yet and still despite anything that's happened and what's most important is that y'all fucking know y'all understand and y'all still support me per And I know I'm queen for wanting to go back and forth on Twitter. I'm queen for wanting to da, 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 da. But I have not in months. Have you guys noticed, if you guys do follow me on Twitter, um, ever since I fucking popped off at Yaba about the Jose stuff, I have not argued with nobody else since. Because the Jose stuff, the irate Alex stuff, all that shit happened all at once. I have not said shit since. And guess what, honey? I don't plan to. Because I'm straight on all those people. Because you want to know what's gross. Um, a lot of those little side accounts. A lot of those little side people on Twitter. Um, like fucking. I don't know. Just be looking up under the Yabba's tweets. They're, they're all the same people. Really. They only. I, I hate to, to say this. But it's the truth. A lot of those people. Only get a high amount of engagement. On Twitter. A high amount of likes. They only get a high amount of engagement and likes and tea and shit on Twitter when they're literally shitting on someone. It happened with Jose. I watched it happen before my eyes. Before my eyes. I don't want to be a part of that. I'm straight. Talking about Chantal is one thing. But shitting on actual people like and people in need... I feel sorry for your actual karma. Like seriously. And I hope that you never find yourself in a situation like myself. I hope you never find yourself in a situation like Jose. But something's telling me you've probably gone through a lot worse because of how you've carried yourself. I could never. The bitch is probably over there celebrating the war right now. I mean, for all, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bitch is probably over there celebrating the war right now. So dark so dark I don't deserve this shit I don't I deserve so much more and so much better than this shit why the fuck am I still sad but like do you know how literally unhinged it would look for me to do the type of stream that I did get the support from my community just to go argue back and forth on Twitter bitch I'm still fucking behind in my email I, I still have so many of you all I need to literally individually email and thank but I'm literally kind of overwhelmed because everything is just happening very fast could you imagine the people who would see me popping off on Twitter <laughs> and feel like a fucking idiot because I'm entertaining that bullshit but I didn't even care to send them a thank you note Everybody sees that stuff. It's a public platform. I could never shit on my community like that. Because to me, engaging with the negativity, with people who weren't ever going to hear me in the first place, is shitting on the people who supported me. My name is in a lot of people's mouths right now, and I find it heavily interesting. And the thing is, a lot of the people who are bringing me up, I'm just like, okay. All right. Okay, I guess. And I can tell people who use my name for clout now. Okay, I can tell. I can tell.
I haven't argued with nobody because no one is worth my time. I distanced myself from all those people, even people who I thought of as so-called friends. And yes, I'm still cool and cordial with some folks, but I'm going to keep that shit at a firm yeet. I'm not interested in mixing and mingling with no goddamn body. I'm too real for a lot of these motherfuckers, and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm too real. Some of these people got so many skeletons in their closet that y'all don't know that I know. Some of these people got so many skeletons in their closet that y'all don't know that I know. But it's not my place to expose. It's not my place to say anything. The skeletons we could, she said, we could bring to the table. Alex is ready. We could. But a lot of these people, they tell themselves by their own behavior. You, you can see it. You can see it. Like, I love how, like, some people are like, oh, she's always talking about the free spirits, but she ain't really got no fan base or no support. I do. Just like how y'all claim to tell y'all folks to stand down, and that's not really the tea. It's never the tea. I actually tell my audience to, to relax because it's not worth the time. that a lot of those people in that community they thrive they literally do thrive on mob mentality it doesn't even matter if what they're saying is wrong or mean or hurtful or how it could literally affect a person's life i mean could you imagine them trying to dox him and all this bullshit and a lot of that mob mentality i don't fuck with i don't fuck with it i don't Oh, well, and then people who also see me as a target, right? Because, oh, she's by herself now, let's pounce. You don't affect me if I don't engage. <laughs> so am I really even a target? But continue to prove my point about the obsessive targets that have been on me. Because mind you, she's from that same camp. Everybody proves my point. I have been being right about some of everything that's played out since September. I'm tired. I'm tired. Girl, my therapist want me to practice the forgiveness. <laughs> Girl, she want me to practice the forgiveness. And I said, I said, um, <laughs> as they tried their best as humanly possible but they just failed and they 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 tried their best but they just failed and sometimes we just fail and that's all that it is and you know that can help you work towards the forgiveness and I said <laughs> It's, it's the try their best for me. It's like, where? Literally where? I'm not going to get too political. Um, I do have my own thoughts and my own views, but I do know enough. This is simple social studies. Like this stuff dates back um, before a lot of our time periods, but before we were born. This stuff dates back, right? Um, so this is like 
I guess you could say like a maybe not high school social studies lesson, um, but it's like a social studies lesson pretty much. Um, America is a part of NATO. Um, we are one of the nations that agreed to be allies with the Ukraine. Um, you know, when Ukraine submitted their their weapons years years ago, like before a lot of us were born. Um, this is you know um, when they submitted their weapons. Uh, the, the U.S. along with like the U.K. and so many other um, nations agreed to be their ally and like protect them and stay in allyship with them and like you know help them etc cetera, etc. Cetera. I understand Trump had his bullshit. I think we'll talk about that because we're a part of NATO and because we did sign that treaty along with those other nations. That's why they're having that meeting tomorrow to figure out what we gonna do and it might take months etc cetera, etc. Cetera, right. Because the U.S. did indeed sign that treaty years ago before a lot of us were born, the U.S. is indeed involved. I, I don't know. I, I personally would not trust any news source that's like, oh, the U.S. is going to be just fine. Oh, this isn't our fight. This isn't our battle. This isn't our bitch. Then we wouldn't have already deployed soldiers there days before this attack happened to prepare in case something like this did happen because the tensions were already rising earlier this week. It, to me, it's, it's just simple. It's simple education. Um, but I'm not trying to talk down to anybody if you genuinely don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. He didn't already did what the fuck he was going to do. He didn't told y'all what the fuck he going to do. He don't get no fuck what we got to say about it. He said... An A for effort. No, bitch, you getting an F for being the biggest absolute failure I've ever fucking seen, bitch. All of y'all, Fs. F the house. I hate you so much.